So I told you this next team is going to be me talking about Udemy. So I didn't get done as much as I'd like. I wrote down a little bit from, you know, it, they just went over the basics. Let me get to the page. So like the first video, he went over what the whole course was about, you know, just kind of went through all the lectures. Like when you go on Udemy and you look at the course, you see what the lectures are and what they're named and stuff and how long they are. He just went through that and kind of explained. And one thing that pointed out, of course, I'm taking it because of Firebase, so we're definitely going over Firebase in a in at least one app. I think I think more than one though. I think a couple. And then we're also going over GitHub, which if you want to be a developer, you you should really know GitHub. It's it's almost a necessity, if not 100% necessity, to be a developer. It's uh, you'll learn about it in the course. I can't. I, I'm not here to teach you what's in the course, or else that's plagiarism. So I'm just kind of going over my experience with it. So. I starred a couple things about what we'll be going over that really pertains to me is uh, going over Firebase, I'm gonna use that in my app. We're going over Login UI, I'm gonna use that in my app. We're gonna go over some user location, so kind of like uh, Uber and whatnot. I'm gonna make an Uber clone. Going over APIs, CocoaPods, uh, a lot of other things. And there's there's quite a few things that we'll, I'll be able to take and put directly into my application. I say directly, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll have the knowledge to, to integrate into my application, like the Firebase, Firebase database and storage and stuff, as well as the login UI. Video two, he kind of just explains how with this course, we get we receive like $5,000 worth of graphics. Whether that's an exaggerated number or not, we still get a lot of graphics that we're able to use for free in all of our apps. We can't resell it legally, <laughs> but with all, all of our apps, we'll be able to use it, whether it, it doesn't matter if it's for your personal use or on the app store, making millions of dollars, as far as I know. He said, as long as it's, if it's paid on, if, if people have to buy it on the app store, buy your app that's using these graphics, that's fine. So, so, yeah. And then there's a student success story. So first three videos, technically four lectures, because the downloadable, uh, downloadable graphics counts as one lecture, is just kind of going over what I just said. And then lecture five is when we actually get into get into something, which is basically just uh, creating a developer account. So, I mean, if you haven't created a developer account, just follow along with that. And I already had one, so I could just use mine, but many people won't have theirs. So that that's very a lot. A lot of people just kind of assume that you already have Xcode and developer and whatnot. But I mean, you need to start somewhere, and this is a this is a good place to start. And and that he mentions, uh, you know, you can create a developer account for free. But if you want to put anything on the App Store, you have to pay $100. I'm telling you this because it's co it's common knowledge if you if you read. It's not like it's it's proprietary to him. He doesn't. I'm not telling you anything that I w I didn't already know prior to taking this course. But my advice to you is don't purchase the developer account, the $100, until you're ready to submit. Because there's no point in doing so, as far as I know. There's no point in paying unless you're ready to submit. Otherwise, let's say you pay now, you don't submit for another six months. Basically, you're only paying for you're paying hundred dollars for six months instead of hundred dollars for a year if you would have waited six months to pay. So, next lecture was uh, downloading Xcode, which that took me about ten minutes to download. I guess it depends on your internet. And then it took like an hour to install, or maybe eh, maybe a little bit less, but roughly an hour to install. I didn't keep an eye on it the whole entire time. But let me correct myself. I already had Xcode installed, so I was kind of hesitant in going through this. But I want to go through every single video he has, and I'm glad I did because we're going through iOS 10 and Swift 3 and Xcode 8. There's a B. Stop, B. Or is that a B? I don't know. <laughs> but I completely forgot about Xcode 8 and you're gonna download the beta depending on when you take it and when iOS 10 comes out compared to when you're watching this right now. I would have gone ahead and used uh, my current Xcode version and been like, why the heck isn't any of this code working? It's because I didn't have Xcode 8, but you have to go to the developer account to download Xcode 8, which he goes through. And I'm sure glad I watched that video or else I would have been very confused when come time to, to code. But it took me 10 minutes to download, almost an hour to install. And then when I went to open it, it took a while to verify. It had to verify it. I don't know how long that took. I walked away and then when I came back, I was ready. So it probably didn't take that long. And I say I walked away. I walked away and that's kind of where I left off. So I didn't get through too much. I only did this like during lunch at my work. So it kind of stinks, 
when I saw Suicide Squad last night, I was going to work on, I was going to continue with the lessons after Suicide Squad, but after that, I just didn't really feel like it. Probably not going to create a video today. I'm going to combine it within the weekend because I'm going to be very busy. I'm going to be moving into my house and I just have a lot of other things to do, but that's not going to stop me. You know, in my free time, I'm going to be either working on these videos and or taking the Udemy course. So just even if your life gets too busy, I'm sure there's a time where you have 30 minutes to an hour, you know, where you're not doing much and you can take that time to do at least one video. I mean, it all depends on where you are in the process. Some videos will take longer because you have to actually code stuff on your own. But, you know, just just find as much time. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have I'm going to find as much time to do tonight or today, tonight, as well as tomorrow, which is Sunday. And then I'm going to have a video ready either tomorrow, Sunday night or Monday morning. And we're going to keep we're going to keep rolling with this, guys. I don't plan on slowing down anytime soon. But that's going to finish this video off. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a like and and consider subscribing to join this journey. I want you guys to learn alongside with me. I want to be able to help you guys out. I, I hope you all are able to help me out. And we're just going to conquer this. You know, we're going to conquer iOS development together. If you haven't checked out any of my other videos, please be sure to do that on my channel. You can click on my name. And uh, have a good one.